Do you have a beard grooming kit yet? First thing you gotta do is put in some beard balm. We recommend no matter what people are doing with the beard, if they're doing nothing else, if they're trying to do some weird stuff, stop it, put it all away. If you're just starting out, get a beard balm first. You gotta get that foundational layer done. You've gotta condition it, you gotta make sure it's moisturized, hydrated, and uh, it also helps the style no matter if short or long. So we highly recommend, first of all, getting a beard balm. But other than that, what do you put in your beard grooming kit? Do you need a beard grooming kit? Like, what is this? Um, so, I mean, it could literally be a, like a little shaving kit that you put together, like a, a shaving bag sort of thing, and then just fill it with beard uh, products. Um, or it could just be the tools that you use every day and they're not necessarily in the, an actual physical kit. Whatever it is, we're going to talk about what you need for that so-called kit. Um, beard balm we've talked about, you absolutely need that. It's like the foundational care for your external beard. Uh, we do talk about foundational care being uh, uh, exercise and eating healthy and all that kind of stuff because that also helps your beard grow um, significantly. But on the outside, you need a beard balm. Uh, you need beard trimmer for most guys. I mean, if you have a really long beard and you just use shears or something like that, or nothing at all, that's fine. But a majority of guys are gonna use a beard trimmer to keep their beard uh, trim, because it usually looks better on men. Um, you can get a razor if you want. Um, areas like this, areas like this, you might wanna clean up um, with more than just the beard trimmer. I mean, I have gone through where I've just used a beard trimmer on the, with no guard on it and just shave it all down in the neck and cheeks, but that's fine. If you really want to get in there and like, you know, have it super smooth and super clean, um, then yeah, get a razor, um, safety razor or something, and uh, use that sparingly. Um, get a comb. Try out different combs. Whatever you do, actually, don't just get a comb. Don't get like a drugstore comb that's like 39 cents or whatever. That's ridiculous. Those are so cheap and so bad for your beard, for your hair even, um, because they're injection molded. What that means is like they've got a, a metal mold and they pour the, you know, hot liquid plastic into it, put it between another mold, squeeze it, you know, it dries or it cools down, pop it out. Um, that's really effective and really cheap to make, but um, what that does is microscopically if you were to look at those molds under a microscope there'd be like little barbs in the metal because it's not perfect it's not perfectly machined it's not going to stay like that forever um, so these tiny barbs actually get make their way into the combs themselves that you can only see when you're like really looking at it through a microscope um, and what those will do when you're dragging into the hair they're going to create static they're going to potentially strip the hairs they can even cut the hairs um, like that's you're just there's no point using a comb if that's the kind you're going to use. We highly recommend Kent combs if you want uh, a plastic comb. They're saw cut, so they start out with like a, a brick of uh, plastic in a comb shape, and they put it through a saw, and then they hand um, sand them so that there's no sharp edges. They're really good. Um, or you can use a uh, wooden beard comb. A lot of people like that. It's a lot, uh, a lot easier than. Some of the other options, um, it's much better for your hair than the plastic comb. Um, if you don't want to spend on the Kent, or if you want a little bit more variety or options, there are some good beard combs out there. We're putting our own together right now, so uh, wait for that. Check the space out. Uh, brush, obviously. We've got ours, libertygrooming.co. Uh, we think it's best. And it's um, super helpful to have in there as well, not only for styling and for distributing the oils of the beard balm, but for keeping your face clean. It's going to pull the um, dead skin scales, it's going to pull the um, shed hairs away from your face, and keep the skin underneath your beard healthier and more likely to produce good growth. Talking about beard balm already, um, if you've got a mustache, mustache wax is pretty good. Um, it helps the style, it depends what, what look you're going for, but even if you're not like, you know, twirling it up into a crazy thing, it can actually help keep it in place all day and make it look a lot more clean and crisp throughout the day. So we highly recommend getting a mustache wax if you've got any length to your mustache. Uh, and shears, we've talked about this as well. It's super helpful to go in there, even if you've got a short beard like this, I've got a couple pairs of shears, and I'll go in there regularly because like one hair will grow longer than the others and it'll stick out, I'll just snip it off, you know, five a week, 10 a week sometimes. Um, and if you've got a longer beard, you don't, you can't get away with a beard trimmer, shears are the way you're gonna keep it in check. Just, you know, go super slowly, don't do things you can't um, get back if that's not what you wanna do. And uh, yeah, shears are a fantastic tool to keep it looking very clean, even if you've got a short beard or for trimming and shaping if you've got a longer beard. And uh, there's a 
I don't know. I don't know if there's anything else you can put in there. That's what we put in ours. That's what I put in mine. That's what we recommend putting in yours. Um, so yeah, check out the article, libertygrooming.co slash beard-grooming-kit. Uh, we've got links to some of our favorite products, including ours, and uh, that should keep you set with an amazing beard if you uh, use that every day.